Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. I don't know if we necessarily want to talk about this because it's I'm so tired of the discourse around it, but uh, Purdue, Zach Eady, fouls, free throw shots. People seem to be fired up about the fact that a seven foot four, 290 pound uh, physical specimen that is elite at establishing position with the feet of a very large ballerina who also happens to have like, by the way, a 32 inch vertical, which is insane for a dude that large to have a 30. That's crazy. Um, but people are very upset about the fact that he gets lots of fouls called for him. And, hmm. uh, they are also upset that he doesn't have a ton of call fouls called against him. And I don't know. I know that you're not one to hold your tongue and I know that you are someone that is, here to be opinionated, so I wanted to uh, put this on your plate and let you feast, man. Go ahead, cook. It's so hard to officiate guys that big. That's really what it comes down to. And, like, the dude's put together. He's not just 7'4". Like, mm -hmm. he's a big 7'4". Like, I always had this argument all the time. Like, hey, man, I'm 6'2". And I am 6'2". But I'm a small 6'2". Because I have short arms and, like, I just, you know, I don't walk straight up all the freaking time. Like, I'm a small 6'2". There's other guys that are big 6'2s. Like, there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Like, and he's a big 7'4". Think about that. A hey. big 7'4". T.O., you don't what? You don't, I don't walk straight up all the time. Yeah, I know. I don't walk straight up all the time. <laughs> I'm freaking, uh, you know, I'm, I'm cooling. I'm cooling. So, like, I, I don't walk straight up all the time. But, like, he's a big 7'4". Think about that. And, and like, people bounce off that man so like while it might look like a foul and like the thing is if you're complaining about him fouling watch him play defense just watch him don't watch your guy if if opposing teams are mad at zach Eady, don't watch your player watch zach Eady. when he's posting up his hands are straight up he's not grabbing anybody when people are challenging him at the rim he's jumping straight up he's not fouling anybody when he's he, they don't have him hard hedging because that's going to get him in foul trouble they have him pulled back to the paint if you jump up and shoot it, he's going to contest. He's not fouling anybody. Watch him. Don't watch the player's reaction to bouncing off of him because he's not. He, he's very disciplined, shockingly enough, when it comes to just uh, defense in general. Offensively, like he plays physical, but he plays physical the right way. Watch him. Don't watch your reaction to him. Yeah. Does and, that make sense? Yeah. And the other thing that I'll say is that um, when he when he posts up, Right. And, and I, this is one of the places where I've seen people go back and forth about this is like if he's sealing and he's backing you down, like he's allowed you, to do you, that. Yeah. People are like you can't push him out of the way. No, well, he's not. He's just like slowly moving backwards because he's bigger and more stronger than you. Right. If yeah. he if you throw the ball into a post and he kind of turns like this and he uses his shoulder to push you off balance and it's not like a swing in the elbow. He just kind of moves you because he's so much stronger than you. That. You're allowed to do that. Like that's not a foul. And like, another guy who's good at that. Another guy who's significantly shorter, by the way, but like Armando Baycott does the same thing. I was watching the game last night and I'm just like, God, PJ cannot get deep post position. That's because big ass Armando has his hands straight up and his lower body is so strong that he just walks out. Yeah. He just walks you out and he's not pushing. He's not doing all this stuff. He is so freaking strong that and, he just moves you. And PJ's not a weak dude. Like he's no he's a weak dude. No. So Tyler had some of that in him. Yeah, Tyler Hansborough had some of that. Trevor Bunker was the same way. Like these stupid, strong individuals. Like I'm not calling them stupid. I'm saying they're ridiculously strong. Let me clarify. But like those guys that are really strong, I can't they believe can just you call you. Trevor Booker stupid. I'm gonna text him right now. Tre hey, Tre hey, Trevor. Uh, I see Trevor every game. He has Hornets season tickets. He's right there on the sideline. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Poor guy. But but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna get fired today. The uh, <laughs> the uh, no, but he don't watch Zach Eady, the people bouncing off of Zach. Watch what Zach Eady's doing because he's the painter and his staff have done a great job coaching him up and doing the right things. Yeah. And the last point that I'll make is that when you are, when you are that big, right, the only way to slow somebody down as the defender is to push on them, is to lean on them, is to grab them, is to hold them, right? Mm -hmm. And it's the pushing back that is the foul. Like when you mm -hmm. are leaning on someone like this, which is the only way to really slow. Well, it's like when you're leaning on them like this with two hands, when you are it's a foul, yeah, that's that's the foul. When you are pushing, those them, are the rules the of basketball. Yes, yes, and I, I 
I understand the frustration for opposing teams when you see the the free throw disparity like North Carolina, uh, Northwestern, where it was 46 to eight. Um, I get why that would be frustrating, but you have one team with a bunch of guards that are playing and going up against drop coverage, putting people on ball screen and going and hitting these little 12 foot floaters and kicking them out for open threes. And you have the other one that is throwing the ball into the post into a seven foot four monster and saying, go to the rim and try to get fouled. Like that's part of Purdue's game plan. Um, and part of Northwestern's game plan is to do things where you're not going to get fouled. And I understand that there were like specific calls that set Chris Collins off, but it wasn't the foul disparity that you should be mad about. Also, by the way, just for the record, they, they ended up getting what, like eight, eight free throws at the end between technical fouls and then added on a couple more intentional fouls. So like the real disparity was like 34 to eight, not 46 to eight. Chris Collins did that himself with an epic ejection. Big news, guys. I am thrilled to announce that we have partnered with Autograph a company founded by the GOAT himself, Tom Brady. The Autograph Fandom app gives you access to the best college hoops content, fan contests, and exclusive rewards like discounted tickets, all for doing the things that diehard fans like you already do, following your favorite team in the news and listening to podcasts just like this one. When Tom, and yes, I am calling him Tom, we're on a first-name basis these days, co-founded Autograph, He had one mission in mind, change the fan experience for the better. It works like this. You get all of your college hoops content you want in one place. You get articles from your favorite writers, pods from your favorite hosts, contests from your favorite creators, all on the feeds and the sites that you already enjoy. But instead of having to go to all these different places, it all comes to you in one spot, the autograph fandom map. But here's the best part. The more content that you consume, the higher you rank in the app. As you consider the level up in status on the app, you can unlock unique rewards curated exclusively for you. So download the free autograph app in the app store and use the referral code F68, that's F68, or tap in at the link in the description below or in the podcast app of your choosing to start earning points for doing something as normal as listening to this very podcast. It really is that simple. Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.